I was with my family, my mother and father at their home. As the winds blew and blew and blew, the, it was amazing to watch the ground start disfiguring and, and bulging and the trees pop. It was, it was unbelievable to watch. It started on early that morning and we could hear like trains and you know it wasn't trains with, with the hurricane coming in so it had to be tornadoes. Katrina was the big one that people all dread. I got the word almost immediately that uh, we were 100% down. We had nothing. We go all the way to the Mississippi Gulf Coast and about 90 miles north of there. The damage, of, of course, was worse along the coastal area because of the tidal surge. But we had damage throughout our system yeah, it's hard to process that much damage because as a meter reader, I had been in almost all of these neighborhoods and it was just, it looked like a wasteland. Out of maybe 75 homes, two were standing. It was such a massive storm and it impacted so many states adjacent to us. We could not count on getting help from Louisiana, Arkansas, Alabama or Tennessee, even Florida and Georgia had impacts from it. So to get help from other cooperatives, it had to come from states initially, states of Illinois, Indiana, Missouri. Well, of course, uh, the first thing, your first plan of action is to make sure that your roads were clear to those emergency centers, such as your hospitals. You want to be able to get those people who needed that care there. Uh, my team took care of getting uh, folks fed, housed, and then the other big role we had was communications, uh, making sure that uh, you know, we got the word out about what we were doing on a daily basis to our employees and to the public. The first substation we got power to was right outside of a generating facility south of here. It was about seven days later after the storm. And as we started doing that, it was a little better because you actually had some lights on from instead of just putting wire and changing poles up. I don't think you can ever restore hope in a community without electric power. You can't have water. You can't have sewage services. You can't get back to the daily routine of life without electric power. The first two or three years, recovery was quick. You saw a lot of homes being built. Uh, then the national economy kind of went into a tank in 2008, 2009 time frame, but it now has, has come back. Most businesses are back operational. A lot of businesses and homes and subdivisions have moved north into our service territory, and it's brought some really great new shopping and dining venues and things that weren't here before. A local artist, Marlon Miller, does beautiful sculptures out of trees that were dead after Katrina and he actually takes a chainsaw and from these dead trees makes these absolutely beautiful sculptures. It's a symbol to us that out of something so ugly, he's made something so beautiful. Things are good and, and, and life is getting back to normal on the Gulf Coast.